Hey YouTube, it's Yolmas here. Gonna be doing a fall review on my Zen Sport exercise mat that I purchased about five months ago. Um, it's actually to the date. Um, I'll put the link down below my first, my, my first impressions out of the box. Um, currently got a treadmill on it, but between the treadmill and um, our rower, we've been putting it on, rolling, rolling it up nightly as we put cars back in the garage. So I've been doing, it's been used um, but it's not been like laid flat for for hours for, for days on end. It's pretty much just stayed You know on the floor for a couple hours between my, a workout between myself and my son and Rolled it back up and goes um, back on the it goes back on the rack, but as you could tell um, One thing it doesn't do it doesn't lay flat, which is kind of problem. So you can see right there like the it's, it just naturally it just once you roll it it kind of stays and it doesn't go back. Another big problem is um, it's actually started ripping and it's actually started ripping right, kind of like right on the line, right itself right here as you could tell. It's like just based on, the, just based on us um, rolling it, we actually rolled it opposite direction um, either way just to kind of make sure it stays um, kind of clean or, but it just doesn't, it just kind of started ripping. So this happened about a month ago. So up until about, you know, we had four months of a somewhat solid mat, but um, I, I usually put, I lay it out, put the equipment on it. I just don't want to scratch the floor in, the, in my garage. But let me take this. Let me take the treadmill off, and I'm gonna get you, let you guys look at it as like a, a full the full mat, uh, the wear and tear on it. Hey everyone, took the treadmill off. I remember while I was taking the treadmill off, I should do a review on that Proform treadmill. Just got it from Sam's Club. Um, it's pretty nice. Look for a review on that one on the channel in the next um, couple of weeks or so. But um, so this is the mat. As you can tell, I mean, it has some nicks and scratches on it, basic stuff. You know, like you could just tell some nicks. I mean, things I, it's a little dirty on that side, but um, gets cleaned up pretty easily. But things like this, the, impre the imprints, the impressions, or just like this, this is from the front of the, the front of the treadmill. This is like a memory foam. So it does just pop right back up, goes flat. It takes about 15, 20 minutes. So that doesn't stay. I would say, I would believe that if you were to keep this treadmill on for weeks at a time, and once you take it off, it, it probably might stay, it probably might be imprinted forever. But it was a very surprising thing. It's kind of like a memory foam. I thought it was gonna leave it leave the spots there but it essentially once i roll this up roll it back out tomorrow morning these th these imprints will be completely gone so again same thing back here imprint right there imprint right there that's from the treadmill from the, from the back but i'm not concerned with those those will be gone pretty cool it just kind of like just pops right back up again it's kind of very resilient type of um, material but the only thing it is a little it is kind of a little a little upsetting where it's starting to rip already, and it's actually ripping like, it's like a perfect cut. It's not like it's, um, I teared it. It just, this is just from normal, rolling it up at night, hanging it up, and rolling it back out in the morning or in the afternoon the next day if we're doing a workout. We don't typically work out seven days a week, but I mean, so this is actually, Matt hasn't really seen much activity other than maybe th three or four times a week an hour or two a day. So it's kind of not the greatest, but it was like, a, I, I mean, I think I, when I purchased it, it was like $36. So it's not bad for equipment mat. I just didn't want to scratch the floor, rolling the equipment back on and off of it. Cause uh, as you can tell, it's kind of a nice floor. It's an epoxy floor. So uh, I just didn't want to like um, do any scratches on it. Although we do put the cars in the, in the garage and I've had this epoxy floor for six months. Haven't had a problem other than, other than just having to wash it with some soap and water occasionally on some spots but anyway that's another review if anyone is interested i can get a little more in, de in depth on that one but i just wanted to kind of do a fallout review to the zen sport equipment mat five months of usage um when i first got it i wasn't really impressed with it because of the the imprints but the imprints actually disappeared at that time i probably i didn't think i, I don't think i rated it but i would i would have probably rated it around three to four out of five stars then now just because of the rip 
I'm gonna give it a two. Um, if it wasn't ripped, I would have to say it's definitely like it's three and a half to four. Um, just because it's just it does what it, it does what it you what you need to do. It's a equipment mat. We're rolling it on and off daily, but I think if you actually had it in your basement or in your apartment um, on a hardwood floor or carpet, I think it probably wouldn't be that bad if you're not moving the equipment back and forth. But um, again, just a little upsetting, rip. But other than that, it's actually done done us well, done us thing. So um, please like this video. Please comment on it if you have any further questions. I will do the original link down below. I will also um, put a link into the where Amazon, if it's still for sale, I think it is, I checked two days ago. So I'll put that link down. Prices fluctuate, so I think I, like I said, I bought it for like 36 bucks at that time, $35.99 or something like that. So that's it, thanks a lot. And again, um, please like this channel and like this video. Have a great day.